Hello everyone, today we're going to take a look at a website known as Socrative.com. Uh, one thing, when you do log in, make sure you go into your rooms and make sure you name your room um, whatever it is you would like to name it. For example, I named mine for Dale. Uh, what we're going to do, I'm going to uh, go into the quiz here. Uh, it already created one, a sample history quiz. And you can take a look at what uh, Socrative lets you do. A student paste immediate feedback the student navigation, as well as a teacher paste um, quiz. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the student paste one, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my quiz. Um, since I already have one in progress, I'm just going to click on yes. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, uh, an extension known as tab resize here. I'm going to let you see what the quiz looks like from a student point of view as well and how they would sign in. We go into Socrative, and I type in student login. What they'll need to do is type in their room name. That's why it was important. And they're going to join. What I'm going to do, type in my name and click done. Um, at the end of this, um, because I signed in over here, there'll be an issue over here when I have to re-log in to show you something. But just so you know. Okay, so here is my quiz. Um, in what city was this historic document written? What I want you to do is I want you to look over here. I want you to look at question number one. And I'm going to click on A and submit my answer. And you can see the question was answered right away. And you got to know how they're doing. Uh, in this case, it shows you the question, the correct answer, and an explanation. This monument is over 500 feet tall. Now, what I'm going to do, this uh, the Washington Monument is 555 feet tall, is I'm going to say false. And I submit my answer, and you can see be like, oh, it's actually true. It's 555 feet tall. Okay. And in this one here, where is this picture from? And tell me two struggles Continental Army faced. Okay, it is from Valley Forge. And let's say uh, they faced uh, food scarcity as well as and disease and diseases. Okay. Now, they're going to submit their answer. Um, in this case, what happened is since they already submitted it, I did put up an explanation here that would explain it to them. It did not grade it. It left it open for me to look at later on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on OK. You can see that you've completed the current activity, waiting for the next activity to begin. Over here, as a teacher, I'm going to click on Finish and select an option to end the activity and save the reports. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to re-log in because of using that tab resize. I'm going to close out, bring this over. I want to look at, I'm going to pretend to relaunch a quiz. In that case, it will end the previous one. Okay, good. So you wouldn't have to do that uh, with yours. What I'm going to do is I want to see my results. So, or report. So if I go in over here, there are a bunch of quizzes that I've done. I'm going to click on this I here. And I want to view the chart quickly. So you can see right away um, on the multiple choice questions, the ones that could be graded, um, it was a 50%. Now, what if I don't like that? And I want to see a report. Well, in this case, I want to see if I want to see individual students, I can click on that. But I want to download this. And what this will give you, it'll give you all the students' questions and the way that they answered. So in this case, what I could do is I could look over here and say, oh, wow, actually, I, I really did like that. So I want to give that 100%. So I can look at that later on. It's not going to change this over here for right now. Um, just so you know. But you could leave this here and say, hey, that's 100%, and you'll go in and you can certainly change the percent right there. Um, there are a lot of other things you can do with this, but it is such a great, quick, easy website um, to use. Students really seem to gravitate to it, especially um, the, the quickness of it and for them to see what the correct answers are when they answer the questions. Uh, should you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I'd be more than happy to help you out. And uh, we'll talk soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.